Hello, hi. I'm Dr. Hossam Gouda, one of the consultants of Ustatic and Gynecology. And I'd like to talk today about uh, risk malignancy index. Uh, how to calculate the risk malignancy index uh, and what is the importance of it and what to action according to the result of the risk malignancy index and how to deal with the post-monopausal uh, ovarian cyst. These are the informations will be discussed in this uh, video and this information uh, is taken from uh, the Green Top Guideline of the Royal College um, of uh, Management of Postmenopausal Ovarian Cyst. In this guideline, every ovarian cyst, even one centimeter or more, will be considered as ovarian as postmenopausal ovarian cyst and need to be evaluated and uh, to be discussed and to know how to manage it. Risk malignancy index is a tool that used to evaluate the, the ovarian cyst and uh, uh, to know uh, the risk and likelihood of the malignancy of the ovarian cyst and how to manage it and the way to manage it and who will manage this ovarian cyst this will be according to the uh, result of the risk malignancy index risk malignancy index is calculated by scoring three items first is CA125, which is a tumor marker of ovarian cancer, monomosal state of the woman, with a premonomosal or postmenopausal, and ultrasound finding of the, of the ovarian cyst. CA125 is a tumor marker that uh, increase in the blood of the woman in case of ovarian cancer. But this test is described as non-specific test because it can be increased in some benign conditions like endometriosis, adenomyosis, fibroid, chocolate cyst and also it can be increased in some benign condition non-gynecological causes uh, like pancreatitis and peritonitis and also it increases only in 50% of diabetes uh, ovarian cancer and it, it's not increased in myosinous ovarian cancer so, so it's considered as non-specific test or a screening test with low specificity and sensitivity. So we cannot depend uh, on this test alone in diagnosis of ovarian cancer. The menopausal state of the woman. We score uh, the premenopausal woman by one, score one. Postmenopausal woman score by three. The ultrasound finding also is a score according to five findings in the ultrasound. The first is bilaterality, presence of ovarian system post ovaries. The second is multilocular cyst. If the cyst, ovarian cyst is multilocular like this picture. And also presence of uh, echogenic house like this. Or solid areas the fourth finding is ascites presence of ascites the fifth finding is metastasis we give the score one if you have one finding from these five findings in the ultrasound if we have two findings or more I mean from 2 to 5 finding, it's scored by 3. The cut-off value of the RMI is 200. If the RMI is below 200, the condition can be managed in the general gynecology unit. By the clinical presentation and the ultrasound finding, uh, if the ovarian cyst is uh, asymptomatic, uh, smaller than five centimeters, uh, unilocular, uh, unilateral, no solid areas, can be managed conservatively by repeating the ultrasound in four to six months.
and after four to six months, if the cyst is resolved, the patient will be discharged from the follow-up. If the cyst is increased in size or become symptomatic or become multilocular or become bilateral, we should do surgery in the form of bilateral cellulitis and hysterectomy. If the cyst is persistent, we can repeat the scan again after four to six months or counsel the patient taking in account her preference to do surgery or to do follow-up. But from the start, if the cyst is more than five centimeters or symptomatic or bilateral, multilocular or present, uh, presence of solid areas, we should do surgery in the form of bilateral cervicalectomy and hysterectomy. But if the RMI from the start is more than 200, we should do CT scan. CT scan and refer to the multidisciplinary team. Multidisciplinary team is a group of specialists that will discuss the management of the condition. And the, far, and the, and the uh, under the lead of the oncologist, gyne gynecologic oncologist, histopathologist, uh, radiologist, radio therapist, chemo therapist, the multidisciplinary team who will build the plan of management of the patient according to the likelihood of malignancy. If there is no likelihood of malignancy, the general gynecologist can do the operation for the patient. If there is high likelihood of malignancy, the oncologist who will do the operation for the patient. In the operation, it's a staging surgery. Staging surgery including hysterectomy, bilateral salpingofructomy, infracolic omentectomy, taking peritoneal aspirate, and taking biopsies from any suspicious area in the abdomen. I hope I could highlight the UK practice regarding postmenopausal ovarian cysts. This may help us how to deal with these conditions and how uh, to uh, judge our decision uh, in these conditions. Uh, I hope it will be beneficial for you and I will uh, uh, leave the link of the Green Talk Guideline Management of Possible Rural Brain System in the description of the video. See you. Goodbye.